Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones with me Alpha Omega and King Rhaegar Targaryen of the Iron Throne. So our character is now 61 years old, meaning that he is definitely in the second half of his life, maybe even in the last third of his life and uh, we have to act accordingly. Uh, so no more participating in tourneys, no more jumping into pools from 6th floor, stuff like that, you know, we're gonna avoid it. We're gonna uh, take it easy, uh, we are going to enjoy the fruits of our labor, the fact that our dynasty has, um, at this point, I think, quadrupled. It can even grow bigger as uh, we are still carefully planning the marriages and trying to get as many kids out there as possible. We are still living with Queen Liana. Uh, our soulmate. So our life is really happy. We've also quite dramatically improved the life in King's Landing. Even if it was most investment in the Red Keep, uh, we made the city safer. Uh, we've, uh, you know, built the ports and stuff like that. So we really cannot complain. Stranger, horse enthusiast. My son and heir Prince Valerian look stranger up and down and nodding approvingly. It is a mighty fine style you have here, my king. If you would allow me to take him for a ride, I would be very grateful. Enjoy yourselves. No one rides stranger but me. No, he's my son, so enjoy yourself. He is our heir in the end, so we should let him enjoy the fruits of our labor. Now, are we currently building in the Red Keep? I think we are, right? Yeah, we're building the guild halls. In Visenia Hill, we build a small harbor, stone barracks, and guild halls as well. Aranis Hill also has a trade port, guild halls, stone barracks, dedicated manure, sh manure shovels. What the hell is that? Is that stables? Oh, yeah, that's the second level of stables. Okay. Good, so they're upgrading them. And shooting ranges and stuff like that. Lines about legacy. The mightiest man must leave this earth, and hope of good words there is no dearth. And when their final hours nears, wonder will life echo through the years? Billis, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Lord Paramount Balon created the Liberty Faction again. I really do hate you, dude. I really do hate you. If I ever murdered someone, you would be the guy. But you're even older than me. And you're probably not as careful as I am, so... Okay, too many hot duchies. We are deaf. We can create an accolade. The golden hammer can be reinstated. Oh. Okay. So we can appoint Lucas as our golden hammer. Lose us a bit of glory. But it is fine. It is fine. We're a bit in depth, uh, but it's nothing major. Barristan Ashwick is a trained fighter, military engineer, organizer. He's vengeful, chaste, and impatient. And has Where's Baldo shirt on him, or Freddy Krueger shirt. And we have a new stewardship perk. Okay, divided attention. Domain movement plus one. Okay, and the next one is Architect. So unless we die in the next couple of weeks, we are going to get it, which is a huge success. I was planning that for quite some time now, and it's good to see that we will get it. So we'll have two lifetime perks. One is Gallant, I think. Confider. Let's confider Poets, Guard, Intelligent. Gallant, yes, Gallant, Marshal and Prowess. Hanon is no longer your maester. Oh no! Hanon has died of old age. Well, he had a good life. I'm not gonna say he didn't. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let's look for a new maester. Only the most experienced are going to join our... Um, our... Uh, court, so Maester, we want him to be of the Faith of the Seven. Ideally, Valyrian heritage and no, that's not gonna happen. Okay, 
So fifth of the seven. And we can sort you by age. And you're not landed. That's another thing that we need to get rid of. Um, ruler unlanded. So not ru not ruler. Okay. You're eleven, and you're already a maester. Oh, that's amazing! Charming, paranoid, and ambitious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorted by age. Uh, we are looking for. Oh, you're infirm already. We're looking for someone. Skilled fighter. Shrewd. Aspiring brainmaster. Novice physician. Nope. We want someone who is actually a really good. You're infirm, so no point. Novice physician. Novice physician. Novice physician. Disfigured. Maester. Okay, you're a maester and you're not a physician at all. Whole body, novice physician, maester, one-legged and infirm. Wow, one-legged, I actually never seen this one before in the game. Another one-legged right above him. Uh, wise man, how come you guys are not... Okay, you are a renowned physician. Actually, can I search for this as well? If I do renowned... No, no, that actually doesn't... Oh yeah, it does, Renowned. So Actor is 88, but he's infirm. So where was that guy that we've seen? No, this physician... This guy, Renowned Physician. He's 71. Humble, content, and diligent. Oh, that's amazing. Eunuch. Inf oh, you're infirm. Okay, another infirm. Club footed. Novice, novice, novice. Novice, novice, novice. Okay, here's a renowned physician. 68. He's infirm. Okay, never mind. Physician, physician. A renowned physician, okay. Hamish, 67. Chaste, ambitious, and honest. Pilgrim and Maester. Okay, Harperman. So Hamish is one option. Can we find another one to compare them? Okay, so you're 66. Architect. Lazy, impatient, temperate. Uh, no, no. A novice vision and a herbalist. That would be great if we had a herbalist or not physician infirm, unfortunately. Novice, novice, renowned, infirm. What the hell? Another infirm. And yeah, this is like fishing for a good player after 40 in a hat trick. So, okay, 64, astute intellectual, maester, content, chase, and lazy, Quincy. Novice, novice, renowned, solitary, callous, humble, maester, Elric. I'm looking for someone that would catch my eye here. Someone who would be... Really good. Someone who would lustful, lazy, and deceitful. No. Diplomat, hunt, infirm. Ah, uh, these guys, man. Cynical, authoritative, humble. Renowned physician and master. Okay, infirm, novice, novice, you're an architect but you're infirm, novice, novice, okay, renowned, infirm, one-legged, palace. 
So content, Rufus, forgiving. Rufus and forgiving is a terrible condition or combination. And in condition as well. Herbalist. Ah, here we go. Nemos. Patient, Rufus, greedy. But an astute intellectual, renowned physician, herbalist, and a hunter. And quick. So let's invite Nemos. I like Nemos. So invite to court. He will accept. And we are going to make you our maester. I don't like the fact that he's ruthless and greedy, but... Um, okay, you know what? Because he's greedy, uh, we're gonna send him a gift before we make him our maester. Just to roleplay this a bit. A name to remember. You're... Okay, let's dedicate it to Queen Liana. I like that. Oh, we have a prisoner here. Let's banish you to the wall. The wall always needs more people. Nosewise, run away. I'm riding, I am out riding, my dog Nosewise beside me, when he suddenly runs off into the dot. My retinue assures me he will come back, but what if he doesn't? Heal, Nosewise. I said heal, wait for me. I will be patient. I will be patient. He is a good dog. So now we have enough money. And we can make him maester and give him the gift. Because he is greedy. That's the only reason why he has joined our... Our court. So over here we have... Him. So let's send him a gift. We'll accept. That's just how we do it because we roleplay. And Nosewise run away. No matter how long I wait, Nosewise does not return. Just as I'm about to leave, my brother and friend Viserys appears out of nowhere. Nosewise in tow. My friend, I do believe you lost one. Nice. And we can designate a guardian for our daughter Liana, which we are going to. And it's going to be our maester. Uh, okay, what do you want? Oh, you want the coffers filled. Okay, well, that's not hard. So you're going to educate Princess Liana. And we actually have not that many courtiers, it seems. We don't have a keeper of a cell. Harbor master. I think we do want a harbor master. Alessia Reister, Joanna, Garion, Morrisland, or courtier, John. Anyone that we. That we would know. But not really. Alessia Reister, Joanna, Garion. Lucas Foreman. No, there's no one with a rank here. So I guess Alasir Reiser? Greedy, no. Craven, no, not greedy. Paranoid, temperate, Midas touched, lazy. Patient and ambitious. Okay, Lucas Foreman, you are the new harbor master. Pariah of course of court. Ursula, the fornicator, is a figure of disdain at the court, haunted by social ostracism and the butt of many sordid joke. My favor to condemn and continue proximity to this shameless debaucher is perceived as an open tolerance, tarnishing my court's reputation in the eyes of devout and faithful. They have forced my hand, and I must now decide whether my courtier crimes outweigh my affection for her. Surely something must be done. Are courtiers really so hard to replace? Beautiful Fortigator. It's not my place to judge. Again, harbor criminals. It is time to arrest the beast. I cannot host you anymore, courtier. Well, I cannot host you anymore, courtier. 
that's the you know neutral option here the option that we would do challenge to a board game grand tour so you took the knee so who is challenging me Lord Adam the Evil of Weeping Town. Sure, let's beat him. The greatest game of chess. So... In 44 running, 41 diplomacy, he has... Marshal... So he's countering the spy warning. Yeah, in chess, the running is countered by Marshall. I'm at parallel in the theory of chess. I'm beating him handily, though neither of us is even close to winning. The greatest game of chess. A desolate Adam remains seated, hands on his haunches. An excellent match. So we like chess. Inspired person can be sponsored. You want to make an armor. Okay. Well, we'll see. So, any new kids? Yes! We got a new child. Eleanor Targaryen. She is the daughter of Prince Rhaegar and Lady Jean of Strong Spirit. Prince Rhaegar's Countess. She is of the House Martell. So what about our dear poor lady of Skirne? Are you still widowed? Yes, you are. Well, at least you have one child to keep you company. Sway. I could try to seduce her. <laughs> Stranger, the Sixth Stallion. A stranger trudges out of the stable, dragging his legs and hanging his head. There can be no doubt. The stallion is sick. The stable master assures me there is a cure to be found for what ails him, but it comes at a hefty price. Whatever happens is the will of the seven who are one. No price is too steep. So, we had our first crash of the game, and when I reloaded the autosave, it crashed again. And then I reloaded it again, and it crashed again, and no matter what I click on that event, it always crashes the game. Even if I ignore it, it crashes. So, that event is obviously bugged, which can happen. And by the way, this is the exact reason why I'm not playing uh, Iron Mode, any of the Paradox modded games. Even the Paradox games is them, you know, themselves are buggy, and playing Iron Man is uh, a terrible idea. But uh, the only option that I have is revert to the last save file, which is where we started this episode, and we're gonna hope that this event does not fire again. Or that it fires at certain different time, which could also, you know, change the outcome. So let's uh, keep running and hope and pray. Uh, oh no, there's the same event. Okay, so let's try to change this. Maybe that's gonna change something. So no one rides my horse but me. And let's just hope that it won't lead us to the exact same event down the line. Because if it does, then this let's play is pretty much over. And there's really nothing I can do with it. Time disappears in Lucan's shop, drinking mead as we excitedly discuss the regalia he's making for me. Am I imagining things, or is there an indescribable tension? The hour has grown late when my metalsmith puts down his hammer, takes a deep quaff from his goblet, and smiles at me knowingly. Is he... Suddenly, Lucan steps forward, embracing me. My arms quickly hold him, perhaps too forcefully. His warmth instantly chills, hardening to confusion and fear. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Unhand me, you sinner. Oh, um, I'm not. And you're the guy making me my regalia, aren't you? 
Well, I'm not going to expose him, but, uh, well, we know of the secret, so he'd rather do well with the Vagalia. Okay, we are going to banish you. Could we demand conversion? No. Okay, so let's just banish you. Uh, did we get the Maester? No, we still have Hendon. Oh, it's aptitude to disturb. Oh, because he's infirm. Okay, so our Maester is infirm. And he is ailing. Bandits on the road. Alarin. Maybe should the adventurer Alarin sends words, the servant exclaims, holding out the letter. For ten days and ten nights, me and my party has been hiding. The bandit lord Oswell has set a blockade on the road we must travel. What do you advise? Caution? Or should we fight them, trusting the seven who are one to keep us safe? Signed, Alarin. The parchment reads. It seems he is in quite a predicament. Keep playing low. They will move on eventually. 0% chance that they gain to progress. 37% chance that they gain one progress. And 62% chance he gets wounded and lose two progress. No guts, no glory. Make them pay for wasting my time. 0% chance, higher quality. 19% chance... Slightly higher quality, 50%, 53% chance trade wounded and 26% chance die. Um, well, that's not great, but I guess we really don't have much of a choice. Okay, you're wounded. And we got the available perk, divided attention. Okay, Liberty Faction was disbanded again. I guess it was because of the trait we just got. No, wait, that one increased the domain size. Oh, it was because we are no longer in depth. Uh, okay, one thing that we actually did before was employ the Harbor Master, wasn't it? Yeah, so it was Alorin, wasn't it? No, it, he was greedy. Lucan was the one that we appointed. Anything else? Oh, let's dedicate this to the father above who guides me. Sanesho Kaber Fool. Solace in Squirt I see this is truly heartfelt. Uh, too many how duchies, we can pardon the criminals, modify contracts. Oh, the Golden Hammer can be reinstated. So look us, as before, we do now. Okay, but hopefully, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes than end the episode, but uh, the events now start to be Slightly different. Okay, no, they're not. Um, well, I will be patient. This is really not looking good. A new person can be inspired. He wants to forge a go on uh, go black. Okay, so this is different. Court event available. Anxiety nuts my stomach as jealousy rears its ugly head. I sigh and glare at the cause of my misery. I know I ought to be thankful that our guest Oswell appears to get along well with Viserys, but there is something that to... Oh, okay, that's just this one. Whatever the relationship might be, I'll stay out of it. That's not anything that I would want to interfere in. Okay, what about the children? Okay, we got 21 living members now. Elana Targaryen has been born. Greetings. It took the knee. That is good. 
and we gain 299 gold in additional taxes. Okay, let's hope it's going to remain stable for now. How's the castle holding? Lonely Hall. Hill forts. 25 men in the garrison. Well, I'm a scanner is the holder now. Uh, I am a scanner of House Targaryen. We're gonna start to have, uh, we're gonna have to start intermarrying these soon. Do we have stress? We do. So let's escape to Summer Hall and end the episode here. Hopefully the events now are gonna be slightly different. Otherwise it's goodbye Rhaegar. I hate that to happen.